In this video, we'll talk about the science behind insomnia. The basic idea of insomnia is that people will be staying awake at night without any reason. People think that it's caused by stress or simply not being able to get to sleep. Sometimes they will not be able to rest because of eating at different points of the day. No matter what the reason is, the fact is that there are times when people are not able to get back to sleep. Insomnia, by definition, is the difficulty of falling asleep, or it could be the difficulty of staying asleep. Both of these definitions have to do with the fact that the person is having trouble getting to sleep since they are facing another kind of troubling situation mentally. A person will know that they have insomnia when they are not satisfied with the amount of sleep that they have been getting. They will naturally feel as if they have a low level of energy throughout the day, fatigue at different moments of the day, a large difficulty in concentrating on tasks, a large amount of mood disturbances, and lastly, there might be a drop in performance level in the workplace. Any of these symptoms are possible to have when it comes to staying awake all throughout the night. It is simply because the mind and body both need to have rest. If one or both of them do not get rest, then the person will feel lower than usual. They will feel exhausted and they will feel the annoyance of wanting to sleep without actually being able to sleep. When it comes to seeing if you have insomnia or not, it's best to see that there are two different types of insomnia. If you have a couple of nights where you cannot get to sleep, but then you begin to sleep right after on the following night, you might not think that you have insomnia when you might actually have acute insomnia. This kind of insomnia comes from the basic levels of stress that the person is facing. They will face a short period of time where they're not able to fall asleep because of the life circumstances happening around them. Commonly, this will happen when a person receives bad news from their boss or they might have gotten a bad grade on a test. Both of these situations can cause the person to have a night or two where they simply cannot get any kind of sleep. This kind of insomnia lasts for such a short period of time, there is normally no reason to look for any kind of treatment for it. Instead, it normally will be resolved on its own. The second kind of insomnia is called chronic insomnia. This is where the person will not be able to sleep for a few nights every week for a few months. The person might have this happen to them when they are facing a major change in their environment since they may have just moved houses or might be having trouble adapting to a new season of harsher weather. Other reasons why a person might have this kind of insomnia is because they have an unhealthy level of sleep habits where they sleep whenever they want to. If a person wakes up whenever they want to, or if they stay up as late as they want, then the mind will be used to staying awake when it wants to without having a specific schedule. The body will not be able to function with a small amount of sleep one night and then more sleep later on during the day. While this might seem possible at first for a short amount of time, this is not possible to have happen for a longer period of time. Eventually, the mind and body will force the person to fall asleep and stay asleep until fully rested. It will force the person to have a normal sleep schedule since it will begin to affect their own normal life schedule. Otherwise, it will need to be treated by a doctor or a medical physician who can diagnose you for chronic insomnia. Normally, it will be linked to another medical or psychiatric issue, meaning that the reason you might be having chronic insomnia will be because of stress of something else on your mind. Even if the situation is not normally stressful to you, or even if you do not feel the stress, your body will feel the stress causing the chronic insomnia. In these two cases of insomnia, they still have the same causes. Both of them can be caused the same way, even though they are healed in different ways. For insomnia, it is a treatable issue that is usually linked to a kind of medical condition. Some of these medical conditions can be very serious and others will be mild, making it so that most people can have insomnia at some point in their life. Otherwise, the insomnia will come from other common symptoms that people are able to have at any point. These symptoms include nasal allergies, sinus allergies, lower back pain, overall chronic pain, 
gastrointestinal problems, arthritis, asthma, and other neurological problems. Most of these can occur at any point during a person's lifetime. These can cause stress to the body and cause the mind to stay awake for a longer period of time. While some people have a cold, they will realize that they are staying awake for a majority of the night or they might see that they are waking up constantly in the middle of the night. Both of these factors cause the person to have a major lack of sleep and rest. They might try to sleep while having a cold, but the insomnia is still able to come. The other pains in the body that cause insomnia are simply from the fact that the body cannot get into a comfortable position to get rest. Do you ever have it where you get into bed and then you're not able to get into a comfortable position? This is the same situation that will happen constantly inside of the body if it's in any kind of pain. In order to have more time healing, the body will stay awake until it's in a position of more rest. Otherwise, it will become a constant battle where the person will need to find a new way to sit or they'll need to find a new medicine to stop the pain from truly occurring. With all of these different causes in mind, it's just as important to learn and determine the exact factors that hinder your sleep. If you find that some of these risks apply to you, then you simply have a higher chance of having insomnia at some point in your life. So what's the next step? Simple. Take preventive countermeasurements. At the same time, look after your own health to make sure that you can always have a restful sleep. The risk factors involved with insomnia include being a female, being pregnant, or in the period of menopause, an older adult above the age of 40, suffering from more stress, suffering from depression, having a night job, travel long distances where there is a time change, or have a family history of insomnia. All of these factors lead a person closer to insomnia since the situations listed involve a person's choices. They can choose to take a longer vacation in which they are moving through different time zones. They can choose to go through the hard times of having a job at night where they will need to adapt to a completely different lifestyle. Otherwise, they will have a job during the nighttime shift because they were moved into that position or they had no other choice available to them at that moment. It's hard to deal with the risk factors of insomnia when a person thinks about all the natural effects that can happen. Sometimes life will get in the way where they have relationship problems, family problems, or job problems. Not only that, but they might be suffering for financial or personal problems where they are having trouble balancing out work in their life. Things naturally become difficult and sometimes it causes a person to go through a time of insomnia where the mind and body will stay awake until more of the stress or depression is gone. In some cases, it takes longer. In other cases, people are able to find a solution very quickly. Either way, it is difficult to stop the factors of insomnia from coming. Since insomnia has many different causes and risk factors, there are many different things that you are able to do to prepare yourself from having more sleepless and restless nights. It is easy to see what the causes are, but other times it's harder to go forward and stop the normal stress factors of life from happening. Life gets hard, and sometimes even harder to the point where the person will not know which side is up. The most important part to remember when beginning any preparations or healing for insomnia is not to be afraid. Do not be scared of any outcomes or results that might happen. The more fear you have, the more stress that comes along with it to make the case of your own insomnia worse. It is important to stay calm and work through the treatment to prevent yourself and heal yourself from the insomnia.